Hey guys, Little V here, and this is a Chapman ML7T. T standing for T. It's a Telecaster. Do you, do you get it? Do you get the? It's a Tele. So before I even get into the actual review or the tones and stuff, I just want to come out and say it. This guitar is badass, and you should at least give one a chance. Like if there's one in your local shop, go try it. Because let's be completely honest here. Where else are you gonna find a guitar that is swamp ash, neck through? Uh, hip shot hardware, locking tuners by the way, ebony fingerboard, coil split, for under a thousand dollars. So, I have owned quite a few and played quite a few seven strings at this point. I've had a Schecter Hellraiser C7. I've had a Blackjack SLS, I've had an LTD Alex Wade 7, I've had that uh, blue premium Ibanez with the floating bridge on it, and I can safely say this one is my favorite, hands down. It is. It has a combination of all the features that I liked on each one of those guitars, but, you know, there was slight things I didn't like about it, like the neck or like the bridge type or, you know, little, little things about the control setup and stuff. So basically what this is, is it's a Swamp Ash body with a maple neck, neck through. And uh, the Swamp Ash makes it incredibly light. The only downside is because it's a seven string neck is that it is top heavy. So yeah, a little bit of neck dive on that. So uh, a little bit of an issue that way. But if you can get past that, the thing plays fantastic. It's, I guess you would best compare this to like a Schecter Keith Marrow 7, considering he was one of the guys who helped design this guitar. And uh, so the neck profile is pretty much the same. It's just, it's not a compound radius across the whole thing. So it's just like a, a flat, same, well not a flat radius, but it's the same radius across the top. And uh, 26 and a half uh, scale length. So uh, basically, yeah, makes it a little bit easier for the lower tuings. Uh, makes it a bit more of a stretch down here. But if you have long fingers like I do, it's not much of an issue. And as an added bonus, people don't think about it, it's because it's longer, it's easier to get up here for all that lead work that I totally don't do at all. <laughs> things includes is it's all hip shot hardware so we got a hip shot bridge there which actually works really well since that telly bridges are typically quite close to the body so it's exactly like playing a telly as far as like the feel goes uh, locking tuners as well too which is awesome I always love locking tuners uh, control setup is really nice the i tellys to me have kind of been like the go-to control setup just because uh, the volume and like the controls are far enough away that you don't worry about hitting them on and off but they're also close enough that you can just kind of grab them like they're not as tight in as a strap they're not as far away as a like a Les Paul type setup and uh, yeah switches right there really easy to hit and volumes really easy to hit tones not that far back either and of course uh, coil split not a tap a split and uh, yeah all really easy controls to grab uh, plays great wonderful this is basically like this is the seven string for the guy who doesn't want to play metal which, uh, I mean, it can obviously do metal, as you heard from the intro song I did there with a little demo to kind of run it through its paces. Uh, but it's just, it's, like, it doesn't, like, all the other seven strings on the market are always, like, black and sharp and, you know, chugga-chugga looking, EMGs. Unless, of course, you go into the custom shop range, and then you're spending thousands and thousands of dollars. But, you know, this thing ran me 850 altogether, which uh, is, and that's Canadian, too, so it's probably even a little bit better in the States. But uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And like, I love it. Like, obviously it's based off a of traditional design, but like, just how the headstock is. Let me just move that tuner out of here. Get that over there. Like, even just how the shape of the headstock is. Like, it's kind of like modern, but edgy at the same time. Like, with that extra little cutaway here, so you can kind of get your hands in real nice in there. Like, it's really well thought out, and it's just, you know, uh, it's got a belly cut as well, too, for the guys with, you know, a bit bigger gut when I get it in a little bit tighter. It's just a great guitar. Like, I can't say any like this is exactly what I want like I want like an unfinished neck and it's just it's so simple it's just it's such a basic like there's no paint job it's just such a like here is a guitar go you know anyways I'm gonna be putting a uh, set of juggernauts in these just because I have a set lying around from the last guitar that I took out and uh, so I will be making some slight modifications to this guitar but I want to make a quick little video just kind of showing off what it is in its like standard form because like there's not enough talk of these guitars and honestly like they kick ass they're a great guitar so if you're looking to grab a seven string and you're not 
too keen on the bl matte black death metal look, like, grab one of these guys. I mean, even just try one out. Like, they play fantastic, and, like, you know, they honestly, if this was from any other company, which if you take, like, Keith Marrow as an example, which is basically the exact same guitar with a couple extra features, that thing's, like, 1300 This thing's 800 It's the same damn guitar. And let's be honest, everyone wants their own custom pickups in every guitar now anyway, so why not just start with one like this? And the pickups sound great in this thing already. <laughs> Anyways, that's enough of me selling and blabbering. As you can tell, I really like this guitar, and like, I just, as you can tell, I play a lot of Chapmans, and they just, they play great, and they're like, really inexpensive, and that's why no one looks at them, because they're cheap. But I just, yeah, I love this thing. Go try one. Little V out. Rock on. See you next time.